Oh, you can do the real. What's up, guys? We're doing a second place UA deck profile from a single eight man elimination tournament, which is really very, very interesting to watch. Pause the video. <laughs> uh, pause the video, you say. Okay, I see how it is. And challenge retro as well. And we're in the 890 Tournaments WA history. Tournaments WA. Come check us out because it's quite interesting to be here. Okay, let's go ahead and get along with the deck profile. Great. All right. Obviously, this is my UA UA artifact deck. Run three UA midfielder. This is basically your search engine when you've got UA midfield. Every UA deck. Well, every UA card, what it is is you return one from the field to hand and just special summon it. And you got three slugger here. It's basically your Amadis. When this card declares an attack, your opponent cannot respond. And it's the fact you can main deck three of them is just way too good. And then you got three perfect dice. This is a Herald of Perfection. Just once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can discard a card, negate a card or effect, and destroy it. And it's just wonderful being able to sit on them. And I've got one goalkeeper. I found this really good against Burning Abyss because it's 2,800 defense and you can just kind of sit on it against Dante. They have to make a, a Giga Brilliant and then use its effect twice to get over it. And it's got the effect of once per turn you can target a UA card and it can't destroy the battle by card effects. And so you just you laugh because they really can't get over it. And for the artifact tech, three Moral Attack and two Beagle Attack because that's pretty much what you run and everything. And I use artifacts because. Tribute summoning is also a big thing in this deck, and it's great to be able to pop your opponent and then tribute the next turn. The spell lineup: three Stadium, greatest card ever. When a UA monster is summoned, you can search a UA monster from your deck, and every once per turn, when a UA monster is special summoned, all monsters you control gain 500 attack. So you can basically you can sit on a sit on a mighty slugger and. Every time you special summon another one, it gets plus 500 attack, so you can sit on like a 4 8 Armadies or something, it's just hilarious. Then I got two reinforcements from the army. I'd run three, but I just can't find my third one, because that searches your midfielder. You got three ignition, better than MST, lets you set your own artifacts, pot set up for next turn. It's just really handy to have. Two Stormforth, because tributing, big thing. Two Feast of the Wild, level 5, because that's for your perfect ace and your your UA slugger, and you just return one to summon the other, and you get all their effects back. And you got one Ray Geku, one Book of Moon, Soul Charge, Terraforming, search that, and best card ever is UA Powered Jersey. When this card is equipped to a UA monster, it gains 1,000 attack and defense. When it destroys a monster by battle, it does double battle damage, and you can attack again. I got set up against a Light Swan deck that decided they want to sit on two Lumina because they couldn't possibly lose. Summoned my Mighty Slugger, put this on, and did 3 6 per attack, and he's just like, I don't know what to do now, and won. The traps, don't run many of them. 3 Sanctum, because you run my artifacts, you need to run 3 Sanctum. 3 Traps done, because trying to get, it's your biggest threat against this deck is the summon trap, so that bottomless is a solemn, so you flip that and then you start exploding because you can negate everything else. Then just one compulse and one trap hole, because I don't really find so running solemn in this deck to be too good. Extra deck, I really don't go into this as much as I should because I can just sit on most of my main cards, but you got your staples, you got Castell, Cowboy, won me a few games, being able to go Amadi's back into middle field uh, to some cowboy and just for 800 for game, it's hilarious. One Dweller, 101, 50, Excalibur, and Gandiva I found to be hilarious in this set because whenever the Burning Abyss summon a monster you just pop it and they've already used a special summon so they can't use that search effects or special summon. Steel Storm Roach, my absolute favourite card in this set because it negates pendulum summons. It's something to do with the ruling, same thing as black corn, but you sit on that in a deep prison against Claire Forts, they go to spe they go to Pendulum Summon, you just eat them up with a roach. And then for fives you got Pleiades, because you run artifacts. Volcasaurus, and then obviously when you burn Volcasaurus you got the Gaia Charger to go for game. Cool. Uh, do you have anything else to say about the deck? Uh I really wish that I could run a TG Striker in here, I just haven't been able to find one, and 
because it's also it's a special summon if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. So you do that, and you can make Goyo by summoning that, or you can turn it and make a Black Rose by summoning that. It's just or better great yet, fun. a Yazi. You can yeah, Yazi. That's right. Yazi is a card. You know, let's sit on a the level seven Synchro that can't be targeted, and then Diamond Dire itself is just wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like this video, comment below if you have any questions, and please subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And by the way, it's my birthday, and thanks for watching.